Hey YouTube, it's Yoda. It's Kos. It's the love. And we are Eurovision Buddy. Hey YouTube. I am Eleni. It's Isel. It's Tamta. It's Sergey. It's Yana. Here's Sahat. It's Yoda. It's Kos. And we all are. You are my beautiful creatures. And we all are Eurovision Buddies. <laughs> Shalom Israel, Shalom Europe. This is Eurovision Buddies calling. Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna discuss our top three songs from the Israeli selection. <laughs> I'm gonna miss so much by her Levi. So 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 much. Why? Why? We have nine demo songs, and after hearing them, this is our top three. I need to say that. I'm a bit disappointed, but don't say to me, I know there's still demos, so I have some hope left. Last year, a very good song, really strong song, and this year, it's like, uh -uh. no. So, on my number three, I have shoulders. Shoulders, what I like and what I don't. First of all, I find shoulders a bit more unique among the rest. I can see a bit of Eden's style in there and it's quite powerful and I like it. I like it, it has some nice moments in there. Does it stand out from for Eurovision? Will it go well? Um, this stage, I'm gonna say no. My third place is it's kind of a, I wouldn't call it a filthy song, but it just gives you that sexy vibe and when I first heard it, it kind of reminded me of Rihanna for some reason. Even though I don't know what everything is said in the song, it just, yeah, I believe it is about, well, not sex in particular, but yeah, but finding, it even says it in the song, find a man, and yeah, be her baby, yeah. At some point she does the chicken sound that we had from Neta, uh, like two years ago, I found it funny, <laughs> but yeah, this one, I liked it, it's modern, it's something you hear nowadays, and yeah, it has potential. I have three favorites. So my number three is La La La. Body to the morning, till the sun is glowing, all I wanna do is La 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 La. Okay, when I say La La La, my mind goes to the other arm when Cyprus. Hey, hey, hey. And that's not good for Israel. I don't think it's a song for great things, but for third place, it's okay. <laughs> it's just okay, nothing more. Just an okay song for me. It's my number three. On number two, I have Set Me Free. Set me free, feel my beat and heart in perfect harmony. Don't let me down. Free has some funky beats, yay! Which is the biggest pro for this song. Actually, I'm not gonna say a lot because I know her style and I know that it's something that she can pull off and she's gonna love doing it. But still, it needs a lot, a lot, a lot of, de of development. I would like to see some big moments, some not so re repetitive um, chorus, and let's see where. Set me free, can take us. For my second place, we have La La Love, and not to be mistaken with uh, the secret entry. It's 
is pretty fun. I like this song a lot and it just makes you feel happy for some reason. At least it did make me happy. If you see the, the lyric the video they have, wow, it just I just want to go out and eat candy and be happy. Sure, we need this kind of songs in the Eurovision Song Contest this year because we've had a pretty lousy year. My number two for Israel is Can It Stop a Hurricane. Song because it's something different for her. Okay, we know she can dance. We know you can sing, we know you can dance, we know you can host, you talented devil. She's a great performer, but what is going on when it's just a voice? When you have to bring me emotions, when you have to deliver me something, when you have to make me feel. If she can do this, I think this song is gonna win. Because she, Israel likes ballads, I mean, they have said many times. And I think this is gonna be special for her. If she can make it, we're gonna see live. That's why for now it's my second place and not my first. If she can do this, if she's strong with this ballad, I think she has good chance to do something good in Eurovision too with this. But there will possibly gonna be way more better ballads in Eurovision. Aww. So I don't know. I don't know if we have to choose the dance. But we know that you're gonna do well for this. On my number one, the thing that I wrote about this song is I woke up after all. And that's well la la. Mon amour, mon ami. Ooh la la, ooh la li. Ma vie, toute la vie. Ma taille d'avant les mami. Bebe, me gonna be my bebe. That's the most hidden song that I can see in this selection. It's a song that I can see that she can pull off better than any other song. It's so unique to her. And if I love, first of all, the languages that are mixed in one song, the dance that she's gonna bring on stage, I think it's more true to herself. So why don't you let go with something that feels better for the artist? And I know I'm not the artist, I'm not gonna talk for her, but that's what I feel. So, well, la, la, I would like you to be in Eurovision. Well, la, la. I chose shoulders. This one feels more like something that she even would uh sings and it has winner vibes to me i don't know it just it's good it has a good vibe also it feels like the one that could do better on stage just want i just want to move my body while listening to this one it's cheerful but at the same time it has a powerfulness to it the only complaint that I have for this one, and I don't know if they're gonna change it or not, is that it sounds a little bit repetitive. It could use a little bit of a change. It will surely get changed because it's over three minutes, but um, at the same time it's very uplifting and just has the African vibe that we had from last year's uh, song that they chose for her, and I think it would feel more comfortable for her to sing this one as well and it's just full-on dance song which is gonna be great as I said for stage my winner for Israel is just her, that song is just her. Oh, it reminds me her, it reminds me Israel. It brings me joy, it cheers me up, it has style. You can sing, you, you can move. Um, I think it's the best choice for Israel. I think life is gonna be great because who knows, she can perform. She's a really good performer. So I think that's the best for Israel. It's a little bit copy of the last year. 
actually not copy, it's just the only one who reminds me of the style of the last year's song. And I like that. It's, it doesn't bother me because I like last year's song. Oh my god, so much. I miss Miss Fairfield would be. Yeah, I think it's the only one who had a chance to do something good for Israel this year. So yeah, I think that's all from Israel. Please comment down. We really want to hear your opinion about Israel songs. We are Eurovision buddies, we all want Eurovision friends, and Eurovision friends are never enough, correct? If you like this video, please give it a like. And subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of stuff for you. Bye! Mon amour, mon ami. Oulala, oulali. Ma vie, toute la vie. Ma tête avant les mamies.